All right, we're going to make our flying saucer go down to the bottom of the screen. Instead of coming back up, we're just going to explode it down there at the bottom. And so instead of fly back up for our on complete, let's just create something called explode. So this is going to be a local function called explode. And object will be passed to it. Actually, it'll be the saucer, but we'll just go ahead and do generic and go with object. And the first thing we're going to do is create our explosion object here. So local explosion equals display dot new image. And this is just how we got the saucer, the same call. But this time we'll be going for laser green shot dot ping. So just to make sure that that works OK, let's run this. Down to the bottom. And OK, there we go. There is the laser green shot graphic up there at the top. It's up at the top because we haven't told it where to actually be drawn yet. So we're going to set the X and the Y properties of the explosion like we've done 50 times before. Explosion.x, and what we're going to set it to is we want it to appear at the same place as the flying saucer. The flying saucer is the object that is being passed in here. So we can say explosion.x equals object.x. We can do the same thing with the Y. Explosion.y equals object.y. That way it will be created at the exact same place. Let's go ahead and look at that. And there it is down there at the bottom. And since the bottom of the screen is too far, we can't actually see what's going on. Let's bring that back. Screen bottom minus, say, 40. Let's see if that's going to be good here. OK, so there we have it appearing at the right spot. But it still doesn't look like an explosion, and the saucer is still there. So let's take care of that. Let's get rid of the saucer with our old friend Transition 2. And we'll transition the object that's passed in, which of course is the saucer. And we will put in a table here, and we'll say time equals, we want to actually have a very short time period, so a tenth of a second. And during that tenth of a second, we'll set the alpha equals zero to just completely hide it. And we'll just go ahead and try this part here. OK, it is almost right. The problem is we've got this transition down here that is rotating and setting the alpha to one. So even though up here we set alpha to zero, this transition is still happening. So let's actually get rid of that now, which basically means that it won't rotate. OK, that's what we want to see. So far, so good. Let's get rid of that X scale. Just comment that out. Now we've got a nice round saucer. OK, almost there. What we want to do, though, is we want the explosion to look more like an explosion kind of thing. So let's use Transition 2 again. But this time, we're going to use it on the explosion display object. So explosion. And the time is going to be, say, 200. And what we're going to do is we want the explosion thing to grow in size and fade, like an explosion would do. So it appears and it explodes out and fades. So we're going to do that with x scale and y scale. So we'll say x scale equals 2, so it'll go double the size. And of course, this is very fast speed. It's two tenths of a second. And y scale equals 2. And at the same time, we want it to go away. So alpha equals 0. I think that will do it. Let's see what this looks like. OK, that's pretty good. Let's see that again. Pretend that there's this big explosion sound there at the same time. And that's a pretty good effect, but there's actually one more thing we can do to make it look a little bit better. Let's rotate it. Let's make it spin at the same time. Just pile one thing on after another. Rotation equals, let's say it rotates one time. And maybe we want to rotate it actually more, maybe a couple times, so just really like a pinwheel effect. Not sure, though, because it's not on the screen for very long. Okay, that was pretty cool. But I think actually let's make it like a 180. And I think this will probably do it. That's pretty good for a quick and dirty explosion. And if you're going to do a real explosion, you're probably going to have a multi-frame sprite. And we'll get into that kind of stuff later in the course. But this is just a quick and dirty way to show you how you can actually make some pretty good effects. Very simply, just taking Transition 2 
and messing around with it. We could change this a little bit, see if bumping the times up makes it look a little bit better. That was a pretty good one. So anyway, there you go, your first explosion. Play around with this. Like I said, change the X and the Y scale. Maybe you want to start big, actually, and go small. That would be kind of cool. So we're going to go half size. But up here, when we actually create it, explosion dot X scale equals 2 and Y scale equals 2. So we're going to start it double the size. And then over this time period, we're going to make it go half size and fade out. So let's see what that looks like. That is kind of cool, too. Okay, so you can play around with it and see which one you like better. Try changing some of the different properties and see how that works for you. But there you go, your first explosion.